Hi, I'm Crystal. As a child, I was always nurturing and naturally loved dolls. When I became an adult and discovered reborn dolls, my little family started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, and Savannah. Along with collecting, I have been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it's a lot of fun. Hello everybody, so Savannah's body arrived. And as usual, as soon as I turn the camera on, Riley has to get his word in. Right? All right, say hi, everybody. What is this? What, what are you doing there with your tail? Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Okay, goodbye. All right, uh, so getting back to Savannah. Uh, her body arrived yesterday. <laughs> um, I'm filming this on Thursday. So yes, she her body arrived on Wednesday. I was a little bit worried because it said it was out for delivery on Tuesday and then it never showed up. And I was like, okay. And Wednesday morning it was still saying out for delivery. And I'm like, what is going on? I've never had this happen before. But um, the postman showed up like almost 7 o'clock at night. I don't know what happened. And there was the body. So today I have been working on putting it together and reweighting her the way I like. Um, I think I might add a little bit more weighting at some point. I'm going to try this weight out for a little bit and see. I know I, I tend to not like my dolls too heavy, but I'm thinking she might be a little bit too light. But, um, well, that was weird. Oh, that must have been the postman dropping off mail right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, sorry for the shadow, guys. Kind of, kind of can't be avoided in this area. Um, but I, anyways, I did not overstuff it like I did the last time. Um, she has just the right amount of stuffing. Um, so she's really nice and cuddly. She's not all stiff like she was before, um, but she still has, you know, enough stuffing that she's firm. Um, I at first thought the body looked a little shorter than her old body, but when I held them up together, they were pretty much the same length, um, maybe just like a titch shorter, like by like that much, <laughs> but it was pretty much like the same length um however the other body that she was on was a lot wider this is a more skinny body so um i have to say i am really happy with it um the way her onesie fits now um is this onesie is size newborn and it's a little bit loose on her but that's okay because um the newborn size onesie that i had tried on her before of the same brand um on her old body it was snug and because she was so wide, it was pulling the sleeves up and it kept showing the cloth. But now, like, it totally covers the cloth. It doesn't ride up to show the cloth, which is a huge pet peeve of mine and it's not doing it. So I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, so just in general already like the clothes are better in terms of the arms which is funny because I thought that the cloth the top part of the cloth arms which I'll show you in a minute I kind of thought that they looked a little bit long and I was like oh no is the are the sleeves actually going to cover it um but they do um because she's a lot skinnier um so yeah anyways I really like the way that I've stuffed her like I said I think I might add a little bit more weight at some point I'll just give this weight a try because when I weighed her she's just under four pounds um so I might want to make her at least four or four and a half pounds perhaps um but yeah she's looking cute this is um I, I went out and I a while ago I think I didn't show you guys but I bought the um koala bear 
onesie set at Target. I just had to get it. And it has matching pants somewhere. Oh yes, right here. I have these pants. I just didn't want to put them on yet because I wanted to show you her little leggies and her little feet. Um, but I'm actually going to take this onesie off so you can actually see the body with her naked. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would show you guys the body um, on its own without any clothes on. Okay guys, so here she is. Sorry again for the shadow. Um, and her hair got messed up when I took off her onesie. But basically, here's the body. I absolutely love the fabric they used. It is super, super soft. It's doe suede, but it is like so nice and soft and smooth. Um, I absolutely love it compared to the other body, um, which is this body. And it is a much stiffer material. It's very stiff. Um, and it's not nearly as soft. Um, and of course, the one thing I hated about this body was the gathered chest. I'm sorry, I just don't get why they put those in cloth bodies. Babies don't have boobies. <laughs> I mean, of course, everyone has stuff there, but I'm just saying, like, babies, theirs are not developed to look like this. I don't understand the concept of this, and I just think it looks awful. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, if I actually line it up, like, if I line up the top of the body, like, to the neck, like, where the neck would be, and bring it down, you will see that it's hard to do because she's like kind of scrunched up right now. Maybe if I like let her like lay down flat. If I lay her down flat, you can see what I'm talking about. So if you put this part to where the neck would be and bring it down, you will see that it does meet where the thing is. It might be just a like a like I said just like a tiny tiny little bit um longer the old body but really like not by much at all um but it's definitely very wide and this is a lot thinner as you can see so yeah so like see you can see the length is pretty much the same um it's just the width essentially um also like I said I didn't stuff her as much so now she's a little bit more flexible as you can see like this um and the arms are like this and I just I really didn't put a ton of stuffing in them because I didn't want them to puff out and be like wrestler arms but here is the other one pretty standard um, okay I'm gonna flip her around and show you the back all right so here is the back and it has a little bit of a butt um, not quite as defined as I've seen on some doll bodies so I kind of wish that the tushy was a little bit more defined like on the old old body is like you know well this one I thought was too defined but um, I've seen more gathered tushies but I put a little bit um, of what are they called the poly beads or poly pellet poly pellets um, I put some in a little nylon stocking and then I put some in another little nylon stocking, just enough to fill about this much. And I put one in each cheek. <laughs> that was something that I learned at Debbie Henshaw's um, waiting uh, workshop last year at the Downey Stall Show. And um, I thought it was really cute. And so I try to do that, remember to do that now. But yeah, so I just put one in each cheek. So it gives her like a little paddable tushy. Um, I think I maybe could have put a little bit more stuffing to make her butt cheeks a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Um, and then the rest is just, you know, straightforward body. Um, so yeah, all in all, I would have to say that I am 
impressed. I think I like it. I'm happy with it. Um, like I said, I just need to play around with the weighting, but I think all in all, it's a pretty nice body. And like I said, it's just super, super soft, the fabric. And um, these arms up here are jointed. And then I did the non-jointed legs, but I did put gloss in the groove before attaching it. So you can still actually move the legs a little bit anyway. Um, if you do it gently, I think I, this leg right here, I think, oh no, there it goes. I, I did tie it a little bit tight, so, um, but yeah, so there she is. I'm going to, um, put her back in the onesie and put her pants on as well. So you can see the completed outfit, but I, I think, yeah, all in all, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I would probably order from Spears and Doll Bodies again. Like I said, they ask for a whole bunch of measurements and, you know, they use those measurements to make a properly proportioned body. And I think all in all, she looks good to me. I'm happy. She's cuddly. And I think it's a very good quality. It's, you know, I, like I said, I've ordered their pre-made bodies before and it's always been this wonderfully soft material um so yeah i mean i might want to try giving um like for the next doll i might try a different place um because i know that jeremy has a shell body um and i well i know that shell is no longer making her bodies um she does have other people who are using her patterns that you know people have told me about um, and since I love Jeremy's body so much, I think I might want to try, um, you know, one of the people who's making shells patterns. Um, I might give that a, a try and, you know, kind of compare the two and see which one I prefer out of the two. And then I'll probably stick with that person for bodies from now on, whether it be Spearson's or whoever else. But I mean, I'll, I definitely am happy with this. I don't feel like I wasted money. Um, I'm you know, incredibly happy and she doesn't have boobs. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm happy about that because <laughs> I really, really did not like the chest and I really don't like really wide bodies. Um, so I'm very happy. All right, let's get her dressed because she's getting cold. Okay, here she is all dressed with her little matching pants. They're like a little turquoise color pant with the pink onesie with the koala bears and there's ruffles on the butt of the pants too I don't know how I can show them without disturbing her but oh there little ruffles on the butt alrighty so that's it I hope you guys found this useful um if you are interested in ordering a um custom body from Spearson Doll Bodies, I will put a link to their website below and you can go and check them out for yourselves. And um, on their website, they have a page that tells you about how to take the measurements needed. Um, it's a little tricky to find though, so I will also put a direct link to that measurement page. Um, yeah, so that's it for now. Um, Alex is on his way home from work, so I gotta get some dinner going and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye me and i'm going to be changing him into this adorable monkey sleeper that um melissa sent it's really cute and i thought it would fit him quite well and since he's been in this outfit for like ever <laughs> and it's a summer outfit and it's no longer summer, I thought a sleeper would be perfect. So I will change him.